Djokovic, Murray, someone like Stampras. <laughs> Not making it easy for you, Mark, because I'm throwing all these names out. But We do something here with our former players where we're building a perfect player. Um, right. and, and, and we're going to do the different attributes, and it could be a player, current, former, however you want to pick it. But I'll start off with forehand. Whose forehand all time would you want to have as you're building this player? And by the way, it could be yours. You could be like, hey, man, I had the best <laughs> forehand ever. <laughs> guy Federer stinks. I'm better. <laughs> you're really good, Mark. But you're not that good thinking that I'm going to pick my any part of my game in there. <laughs> I think I'd, I'd have a look at Agassiz's forehand. Oh, sure. Sure. His name has come up quite a bit when we've done this. Yeah. Uh, what about backhand? It's hard not to, to kind of, you know, ha have a look at some of today's players in in, in that respect. Um, you, you know, someone like a, a Djokovic's backhand, um, yeah, you know, pretty pretty solid. Um, for a one-handed backhand, though, um, I'd go with even Edberg. Oh, yeah. What about serve? Well, it's hard to argue against someone like Stampras um, serve or, or say Roger Federer because they that really that part of their game, uh, given that it starts a high percentage of the points, it's the it's the pole that really holds the tent up. Yes, you know Federer or a Sampras, you know maybe you know even from a, a generations past, you know someone like a, a even a John Newcomb. I'll go with a, a bit of a, an Australian Nuke serve was was a key ingredient. And even you know going winding it back even maybe a decade before that would be you know Pancho Gonzalez. So, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'll, I'll go run with those four guys. <laughs> um, yeah, you, you know if I if I can be greedy and have four of them. <laughs> How about return or serve? You know, and I've, I've never had to play against them, thank goodness, uh, because they would, it would just enhance their return <laughs> ability, with, you know, having to return my little serve. Um, Djokovic, Murray and Nadal, um, because where, where do you actually serve to? It's really difficult to know, you know, to get a ball by those three players. Yeah, being greedy again, I'll go with those three. Uh, I'll, I'll let you slide on that, Mark. If you get 17 grand slams, I'll let you slide with a lot. All right, well, this one's going to be up your alley. Um, net play. Net play. Um, well, look, I, I again, I had these experiences of playing with one of the great uh, volleyers, uh, McEnroe, um, and on the women's side, with, you know, Martina. Um, their games were built for being up at net, so great volleyers. You know, like an Edberg, again, was one of the, you know, for me, I, I he helped model my game. You know, Pat Rafter. I, oh, I, I yeah. Mean, you know, when he when he arrived at net, I, I mean, he was just so tough. <laughs> Not making it easy for you, Mark, because I'm throwing all these names out. But, you know, even when I'm commentating now uh, and, and watching, when I see Nadal get to net today, I there's uh, quite often I'll say, I consider him the best volleyer in our game today. His technique is not always the prettiest, but he's always volleying into the open court. I hit a ton of low volleys and a whole a ton of half volleys. <laughs> I don't I think I've ever seen this guy hit a, a half volley. He's always just in the right place, volleying in the right place. Are you going to ask about the smash? Is that a relevant shot? Uh, if you want to add that, we can. <laughs> Who had the best smash? Because <laughs> I, I will say, my partner Todd Woodbridge. Let's get let's get Woody in there. Yeah, had had uh, an amazing overhead, and he was always very quick to say, "Mine, oh, I got it," <laughs> uh, which which was fine. But then I, I you know, it's like I, I, I cut some. Occasionally, I got caught out when he would say, "Yours," and I'd be I'd like panic, and then you know, because. <laughs> Your overhead is really about, it's really split second reaction, yeah? But he had um, a sublime and one of the best smashes in, in the game. Last question, the mental toughness. Which player would you love their mental toughness? I, I think um, someone like Nadal, um, to, to be able to push that reset button mm -hmm. um, as many times as he has. I think back. about the Australian Open this year when he was down two sets to love to Daniil Medvedev. I don't think at two sets to love you, you think, you know, you know that it's not about the belief that you can win from that. It's the, it's the, the understanding of not giving up. I really love 
this ability for Nadal and all the times that he has faced adversity, he just doesn't show it. He, he's not going to give his opponent a leg up. Well, Mark, I think we built a pretty good player. Um, I, I'll, I'll send that player out, you know, anytime and feel pretty good about it.